Introducing TimeKit.js, a JavaScript library for building timeline-based web page experiences with and without video. So what does that mean? Well, let me show you. Here's a web page we made in a few hours using one of Maybelline's lesson videos. They have hundreds of these videos that they have on the web that product uh, give product demonstrations on how to apply them. As you see here shortly, this is Grace Lee and she's uh, the presenter, the makeup artist. We've ejected her live Twitter feed from Grace Lee Beauty so you can actually see detailed information about uh, her latest Twitter, Twitter pics and uh, information that she's posted here online. Directly interact with that. I can click on this to follow her uh, to get more information and do everything just like you would in a normal uh, Twitter badge. So I can, um, you know, typical social stuff. So I'm going to I'm gonna point out several more features as the video goes along. So since this is a product demonstration video, they wanted to show the steps of applying the products. So we have these steps slide in from the bottom and, and have SEO friendly product information appear to the right of the video. Notice how they highlight over here, at the, uh, right there. So we've also got text overlaying here uh, uh, that allows you to, again, SEO friendly text that's going to be in there. If you want to change the uh, information later uh, to be maybe a Pinterest or Facebook or Twitter feed there you can just switch that information out if it's more appropriate uh, at different times or you find a better quote or anything like that so so TimeKit is allowing front-end developers to apply video synced CSS transforms to containers images text and anything else in the browser and all of it is very search engine friendly here in a moment you're going to see that another product is being demoed so we have advanced the timeline below the video as well as display the product itself again. I'm going to click here so I can actually get some more detailed information about that product. I can actually highlight, go over it, get that detailed information uh, here. Uh, and again, all of this uh, can be uh, by now launch another tab to actually go over to the live store. The great thing about this is again the SEO friendliness as well as having the ability to be very easily change links in the, in, when the product store moves or whatever. We've even embedded microdata behind this so that Google knows that this is an actual product and will actually index it uh, correctly. So here in a moment we're going to see that a third and a fourth product are now going to be demoed. TimeKit lets you apply any action to any number of times to any number of objects uh, for any amount of time without writing JavaScript. In fact, uh, it's very easy for someone that knows just even a little bit of HTML to TimeKit enable their web page to make a truly interactive experience. So let me show you how that works. We wanted to make it as easy as TypeKit to include, so we have a single line of source code that you include as a script. You point to the JavaScript library, and then before, you just include an image, and then after, you add these specific tags to do things at certain times. You've got the marker that tells it that this is the TimeKit-enabled um, parameter. we got the time in blue there, 50 seconds, and what I want it to do. In this example, I'm changing the height of this image uh, at 50 seconds to 266 pixels, and then at 51 seconds, I'm changing it to 115, causing it to shrink. You can do more advanced examples, of course, and you do here at 12 seconds, I'm actually moving something off to the left of the screen, changing its opacity, so I'm hiding and showing the item, and I'm actually um, causing any text transformations or any uh, CSS transformations on any object anywhere with, with just a few lines of code. And if I don't include this timekit.js stuff, all of this gets ignored and the web page just works fine, so it has a graceful degradation. Okay, so the other cool part about this is that I can actually twerk it and actually go forward and backwards. So here you see that I'm on this step, but actually I want to jump ahead and I want to show you a little more information. So the, the website will actually jump around and you can actually rewind, go forward, and go wherever you need to go. So I want to jump to step five and show you the, the details here for their, she's doing this, how do I do the polka dots? And so you've got this product, again, the product's going to slide off the page and then she's actually going to show like a step-by-step -step on how to do this. And again, that's all just text. So if that information needs to be applied um, or SEO um, indexed and then all of that information can come in here. So now the next thing I want to show you is Amazon and an Amazon X-Ray feature. Um, Amazon uh, is also introducing interactivity to video. If you haven't heard about X-Ray, you will very soon. This is effectively what it will do. So what you're going to see here is you've got these little circles on the product and they're popping up. And this would be a great way to get more information about our clothes or perhaps behind the scenes info about who the model is or where they shot the scene. 
but you can see how this could be useful metadata for movies, videos, and more, all with like a pop-up video style. So again, you can add to cart, uh, do any more information uh, you want to just directly on the video. And again, if somebody was like, whoa, what happened? I, I need to rewind that and go back and see that information. I can just hop back and see that. Um, again, everything, again, you see the information down here. Everything kind of rewinds itself as the video goes. I can pause, get more detailed information. And again, this all works on mobile devices uh, where uh, previously this only worked in Flash, which, which was a lot more complicated and it did not, uh, was not mobile friendly at all. So this is just a first example. Remember, TimeKit lets you apply any action any number of times on any object for any amount of time without writing any JavaScript. And we're just getting started. Thanks for watching.